Hello everybody, in this episode we're going to learn how to delete a resource through our API. This one's really not hard to implement, but if you screw it up, there's a good chance you're going to screw it up pretty bad because you don't want to like delete everything, right? So we're going to be careful not to do that. This video is sponsored by Ultra Edit, which is a customizable editor that you can use for writing code. It's what we've been using in this series. And if you want to end up using that, I definitely encourage you to give it a shot. I will drop a link to getting started down below. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this series. And now let's get back to deleting stuff. So we will go ahead and use the delete method. The path for this is going to take an ID because we need to know what resource to delete and I do recommend using an ID for this and not some other thing as you'll want to be sure to only delete a single item if you're deleting based off of some custom filter there's a good chance you could screw it up so I think it's best to just not do that so this is going to be pretty similar to the replace one so we'll say await customer dot delete one the filter is going to be required, which is going to say, hey, we want to match the ID with the request.params.id. Or as we did in previous videos, we could assign this to a constant and then use it. So const customer ID is rec.params.id. And then this is going to go here, customer ID. The second thing, ah, uh, there is no second thing. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to pass in a second argument because we're not replacing it with anything. So we'll just assign the result to a variable or a constant result here. And inside of this result, we're going to have a deleted count similar to how we had an updated count up above. So we'll just say deleted count and assign it the value result.deleted count. We can test this out by getting a resource first confirming that the data is there, changing the method to delete, hitting send, deleted count one, you issue it again, deleted count goes to zero because it no longer is there. And now when we try to get this resource, we should get a 404. So that is the process to test this. Now, obviously like all the others, we'll want to do the try catch just to make sure everything is working good. We don't have to worry about the scenario where the customer is not found because the only change is that it's going to say deleted count zero. But in the case of something going wrong, that is where the try catch comes in. So overall, pretty simple. We'll just give a general error like we have been. Res.status 500.json. And then error is something went wrong. You can customize this however you wish. That is your introduction to deleting data. Overall, not too bad, so hopefully it went good for you. Stay tuned for the next video. The next one's gonna be really exciting. We're doing something new. We're actually going to be moving over to the front end. I'll be teaching you how you can integrate this in a React application. I already have a pre-built React application, but you can customize it as you wish. So I'll tell you how to get all of that in the next video. And from there, we'll be able to see our customers view their data, delete them, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.